Hi, my name is Tara and on behalf of FontBundles.net I will be showing you two different techniques to make watermarks in Photoshop Elements. I will be using Photoshop Elements 7 today, but this technique is exactly the same in all different versions of Photoshop Elements. The first way to make a watermark for your images is to create a file itself and then using that, using that by dragging it into each photo. So to do this, we need to go to File, New and Blank File and create a blank file approximately 600 width by 200 height and 300 resolution all in pixels and ensure that your background is transparent. Then select OK. Once you have done that, you can then type your text. So go to the text box, select the text you would like to use, which today I'll be using Fairy Tale Script which is in the celebration bundle through fontbundles.net and select the color you would like to use. And I'm actually going to select white. Then you can start typing. Once you have typed your text, you can select OK, go to the move cursor and then adjust the size to fit into your box. It's hard to see at the moment, so I'm actually going to double click on it and make it black. And you can see, there you go, you can see how my text looks. As long as your text fits inside the transparent selection area, it will be fine. I'm going to turn this back now to white because I would like mine white. It's easier for changing the um, darkness and lightness of it when you um, put it into your file. Okay, there you go. Once you've done this, you now need to save it. So go to File and to Save As, and save it as a Photoshop file, and then give it a name. So I'm going to call it Watermark One, and save. And then you can close this off. Next, you need to get your picture, which I'm going to use this photo here from a card I made previously. And I'm going to go to File and Open, I can then double click and open my watermark file. Double click back onto your picture and then click once onto your watermark file and click and drag it into your image. And here you can see it comes up as a separate layer. And now you can adjust this to fit your um, image. Um, you can adjust what site where you want to put it. I'm going to put mine across like that and then select if you're happy with it. The other option you can do as well is to change how dark or light it is. So I can drop that there to make it more transparent depending on how I want it to affect my photo itself. And there you go. That is one way you can actually make a watermark and all you have to do then is every time you um, are editing any images just double click on your watermark image and you can just click and drag that into all of your files. Another way to make a watermark in Photoshop is to create a watermark brush. To do this, you need to open a new file, make it a blank one, make your width 1000 pixels by 200, and because we're making a brush, the resolution doesn't need to be very high, so you can drop it down to 72. Make your background white and select OK. Again, you need to put your text in. Make sure that you have selected the correct font you'd like to use, which for me is Fairy Tales from the Celebration Bundle. And then start typing what you would like to write. I'm going to double click and change the color of that so we can see it again. There we go. When you are happy with what you have written, change the size by clicking and dragging your text box to ensure that it fits inside nice and neatly your file. And then select the tick. Now we need to select everything to make a brush. So on your keyboard, press Control A, and you will find that your complete file has been selected and little marching ants 
or all the way around the edge. When you have done that, go to Edit and then click on Define Brush from Selection. You now need to name your brush, so I'm going to call it Watermark 2 and select OK. This has now saved your watermark into your brush section here. So we can close this off now and we do not even need to save it. Now to use your brush, pick an image. Now with the brush, I always create a new layer. So if you do make a mistake, you're not damaging or affecting the photo at all. So create a new layer. Then we can go to our brush tool. And at the top, we have a drop down box. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, our new brush is automatically loaded in here. See, Watermark 2 has come up and we select it. Now we have got our brush, as you can see, and we can change the size of it by using the um, bracket keys next to the letter P on your keyboard. The left bracket will make it smaller and the right bracket will make it larger. We can make it as large as we want. We can also change the color. So if we want to make it white, we just select across to make it white. And then when I click once, you can see, I'm going to click the move tool. You can see that our watermark has now appeared onto our screen. I can adjust where I would like it. And I can also adjust the size. And when you're happy where it is, you can click the key. And there you go, there is your watermark. This watermark brush is now always in your brush options. You just need to select it when you go to make any images and watermark. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please check out the blog post because it will be step-by-step -step instructions with photographs on how to make both of these watermarks. Thank you.